Hey guys, this lesson's on uh, nuclear reactions. And um, so, in nuclear reactions, it's um, a lot of just uh, finding equilibrium. Um, there's two main things that, uh, that things break down to in the reactions, and that's uh, alpha particles, which equal four mass, and two um, protons, which is uh, a helium. Uh, atom because it has two protons and if you look on your periodic table that's what it is and there's also a beta particle which equals uh, zero mass and negative one charge which is an electron and essentially uh, you're basically for the most part you're gonna be throwing these in um, to find uh, equilibriums uh, among things uh, and I'll explain what that means in a second so it's easier if I just hop into a question really quickly so let's say we have something like uh, uranium-238. So it has a mass of 238 and uh, 92 protons because it's uranium. And what makes it uranium is these 92 protons. If it was uh, 93, it would be another element. Uh, let me see. Um, if it, it was 2, it would be helium. If it was 1, it would be hydrogen. If it was 6, it would be carbon. And basically things like that. So, um, this 238 is subject to change. Like, it can be, as long as it's over 92, because it's the protons plus the ne neutrons. And, um, but remember, this 92 will always remain the same. Uh, and the only exception I can think of, which really isn't an exception, it's kind of just a, uh, something to think about, is on tests sometimes they will change this, just so that they can have different variation of the test. But uh, in, in real reality, 92 is always your so to stress that a lot. And let's say it goes undergoes uh, four alpha decays. Or um, yeah, alpha decays. Sorry, it's not a very good alpha. There we go. And makes uh, polonium two twenty two. Oh actually this is eighty four, sorry. So um, Polonium with uh, 222 mass and 800, I mean 84 um, charge, and undergoes four alpha decays. Well, this is a pretty simple question because all we really have to do is uh, again I'm gonna use that word equilibrium. So we have uh, 92 protons and 84 protons. Those don't add up. You can kind of think of this as an equal sign, and you have to add everything. And then these. Uh, uh, letters here, like U in uranium and PO for plenium, just don't worry about them until the end. Um, so 92 uh, minus 84 will equal 8. Okay, so because we need an equal, equal number on um, all of the uh, sides. And 238 minus 222 will equal um, well, that equals, sorry, uh, 16. So, we know uh, whatever this has has to be uh, 8 to the 16, or um, 8 uh, charge and 16 mass. And if we look in the periodic table, 8, I believe, is oxygen. But it says we undergo 4 alpha decays. And 4 alpha decays uh, is this particle here, this uh, helium. So, we're going to change it to. Four and um, I like to write my uh, alphas as just this. Like you don't need to write in uh, helium all the time. You can just write in. Sometimes you can even just write in the alpha. You don't even need to write in this four and two. But uh, there's four of them, uh, and that's the main thing to understand. And if you uh, multiply this two by four, then you'll get eight, which eight plus eighty-four equals ninety-two. And this four by four equals sixteen, and sixteen. Plus that equals that, and let's see, solve a problem like that. Okay, so let's say it um, we have that polonium. Oh, sorry, I guess I should write the mass first. We have the two twenty-two uh, eighty-four polonium. Oops. And it undergoes um, two alpha decays, and we want to find uh, what it will make. So it undergoes two alpha decays, so write two, and then this time we'll just write the alpha just for practice. 
and we want to find what it will make here. Okay, so this one a um, little bit trickier. So let's just uh, do our equilibrium again. So remember, let's think of this kind of as an equal sign. And uh, let's think of this alpha particle as this helium. So 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. So we can think of this right here, this whole thing right here, as something that's 8 and 4. So um, to make this even, we just need to find what this 4 and let me write it as this um, x and y and then um, whatever we have here, let me think of a good unit, uh, uh, u's not very good, well we'll just call it mu. So we want to find 4 plus x to make 84 and uh, what that will equal is 80. We want to find what 8 plus y to equal 222. That will equal uh, 214. So um, all we have to do is look in our uh, periodic table and we'll find that uh, anything with 80 protons is uh, mercury. So the answer for this is, is if polonium undergoes two alpha decays it'll make mercury, mercury uh, 214. And uh, that's how we do equations like that. So really quick I'm going to run through a couple more equations and explain how I do them just so you guys can get the knack of them. So um, this one is a little simpler. Uh, we don't have anything on this side, so we just have to write it as um, 3 plus 1 equals 4. Sorry, that's 4. Very good. And then 7 plus 1 equals 8. And uh, we have 8 and 4. And this one we can um, think about for a second because instead of making it equal uh, Belizeum, or whatever for is, I kind of forget what it is, we can make it equal two alpha particles. Because remember, it's um, four and two. So, I think earlier I accidentally said uh, this, this E equals an alpha particle, and I meant to say beta particle, just so we don't get confused on that. So, um, two alpha particles. So remember an alpha particle, just because we're kind of getting mixed up over here, equals four and two, it's a helium. So that also works for that. Alright, so next one, uh, six plus seven, or uh, six equals seven, so there has to be a negative one on this side, because seven plus negative one equals six, and fourteen and fourteen, there's uh, no difference, so it's a zero. So, since it's going to be 0 and 1, uh, it's going to end up equaling a beta particle. Like here, because a beta particle is an electron. And uh, let's see this last one here. It is 92 and 90, and 38 and uh, 234. And we can already kind of see uh, how it's going to work out. So, if you're uh, catching on, you can just go right away and see, oh, it's going to be alpha. Because, you know, difference of 2, difference of 4. And that's how you just figure out a problem like that. So uh, that's huge problems like that. If you have any other questions or uh, questions, um, please leave me a message, and I'll be happy to get back to you.